everyone. Welcome to Be Kind for Lyme and the three question interview. Today we have David Skidmore joining us from New York City. Uh, David is well known in the Lyme community. He is an artist and a writer and he has the co comic series um, Lyme Loonies that is a reflection of Lyme disease that most of us can relate to and helping us uh, have a sense of humor with uh, Lyme disease and getting us through all of that. Uh, hey, David, how are you? Hi, how are you, Marianne? Okay. Good. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Um, the first question I have, which I think is important for us all to let people know, um, to understand how that it is chronic, uh, or be, can become chronic, I should say, if not diagnosed properly and quickly, um, how long ago would you say, where, for, where did you get bit by your tick, <laughs> your personal tick, and um, how long ago was that, uh, and how long did it take for you to be diagnosed? Well, I, I, uh, I live in Brooklyn, and, uh, but I, was, uh, I graduated from high school in Pennsylvania, and uh, so we would often go back and see family. And I was actually on a hike with my dad, uh, November, 2009. Uh, and we came out of the woods and we were, I was brushing ticks off his back. Oh. So uh, at any rate, I um, came back to Brooklyn uh, overnight. You know, I stayed there overnight, came back, took a shower, and I felt a strange little bump on the back of my arm, and um, I didn't know what it was. Got out of the shower and, and looked in the mirror, and, and there he or she was um, having its meal, and uh, I had the bullseye, and of course... I think like most of us, I didn't know a thing about Lyme other than get some, get a couple of antibiotics and good to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I called my doctor and she ordered um, uh, 20 days, 21 days of, I think, doxy. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it, was, it was a month or two thereafter, you know, came down uh, with the, you know, with the the flu, the everlasting flu. Mm -hmm. so, so that was that was my introduction. And again, like most of us, I thought, you know, nothing of it. Mm. And then it's been persistent since because. Uh... Well, because that's what it does yeah. <laughs> for, yeah. for many of us. Um, uh, you know, I've had I've had. Uh, like like most i've i've done the gambit and uh, you know i've had some close uh, some close calls regarding getting out of this mess um i'll never forget uh i i said to my wife at one point uh, i was on a, a, a protocol or iv and and i said my my gosh i can i can think and um, they stopped. Uh, they stopped the the interviews, and of course, everything uh, oozed back. So um, you know, I've I've had a couple of couple of times where I, you know, felt quote normal again. Uh, but yes, chronic, uh, absolutely. I. I um, have done enough reading and, 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 you know, in PubMed and, and follow many scientists and microbiologists, and uh, I believe very strongly that this is or can be active, active infection and, you know, not, not post, uh, but that's, that's my feeling. Uh, yeah. And I feel very strongly about that. And while you're living it, <laughs> and so am I, so we, we do know. Um, um, is, 
in reference to your um, cartoon series, which is called Lime Mooney, uh, I know on your website you do have an explanation of how you got that name, uh, how you started it, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, what, what made you or inspired you to do all of that? And also, um, I know your book, you have a book, uh, which is on Amazon, it's also on your website, but, um, and all those links will be posted afterwards for people. But mm -hmm. uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Well, I, I tell you, when I finally found out about a year and a half uh, that in fact I had Lyme, um, as many of us do, uh, we go from doctor to doctor and, you know, I, I, I found out and it was at that point in time I started, again, like most of us, digging around and, and um, was introduced to a whole other, <laughs> another world, you know, regarding Lyme disease and what our thoughts on it were. Uh, my thoughts were all wrong. So at any rate, I, I was looking one day at some cartoons um, and I saw a guy by the name of John McPherson who uh, he's, he's a really uh, renowned uh, cartoonist. Uh, he's in like 700 newspapers around the world. And I saw this Lyme cartoon, and I thought that was the funniest thing I ever saw. And I, you know, I do have a dark outlook on things. Um, so I actually got in contact with this guy, and he and I have since become friends. And um, he was actually on the 2012-2013 uh, panel. Uh, with Senator Gillibrand, and during the meeting, he in fact put, put this cartoon up, and it just broke everybody up. Uh, so I started doing some, and and got immediate reaction on on Twitter, which I didn't even. John told me he says you got to get these on Twitter, and I thought, <laughs> Christ, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about Twitter, so. Uh, but I started to get them up, and um, sure enough, you know, I started getting response, um, for the most part, really good response. And I think with any illness, um, what, what is that saying? Um, uh, humor, humor is, uh, humor is... Uh, the best medicine? The best medicine? Yeah. <laughs> Although... A cure would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it sure but, would. <laughs> but but I did find overall that that humor uh, was was well received in this community. Um, there's been controversy with the name Lime Loonies. Um, I got that name actually from a a well-known doctor uh, who was with, an, uh, with one of the Lyme agencies who uh, actually uh, was found in an email uh, called us Lyme Loonies. So upon reading that, I thought, that's, that for me, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna own it. Mm -hmm. And in all its irony, um, I used Lime Loonies. And again, some have, you know, thought I was making fun of people. Well, I can tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know, I know like many or most out there, this, this is, there's nothing to be made fun of. But alongside of that, I'll say that people do find humor even in the darkest of things. And uh, I think it softens the blow as well, because I've, I've done a lot of uh, political cartoons as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that basically was, was my start. And uh, I, I did, in fact, uh, do a book uh, 
uh, of cartoons on Lyme disease. Um, uh, Sarah Domley, I have to give a big shout out to. Um, I could have never done it, as as you know, Marianne. This what this can do upstairs once it hits you upstairs. So. Um, Without her help, I would have never been able to do it. But I, I did the first cartoon book ever on, on Lyme disease. And uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. I keep waiting for somebody else to step up to the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Much hasn't happened yet. But it's great to hear from people from, yeah. you know, across the pond from... Australia, the Netherlands, and it's crazy. We're all going through the same thing, you know, with regards to uh, the denial. Um, so, you know, there is where I found a place for my humor. Yeah. Well, you know, it's something that we can all relate to. And I think also other chronic uh, people suffering with chronic illness can relate to some of the things, you know, a lot of it. Um, and definitely we need to, it's hard. I mean, it's hard um, to keep a sense of humor during all this, tough, all of these tough times, but um, it is important. And I, I always say, you know, I'm not crying. I'm trying to laugh because <laughs> to keep our sanity, if nothing else, but um you know, everyone really appreciates what you do. Um, everyone, I mean, the sarcasm, if you don't mind me saying, which is no, no, I'm, I'm type of comedy. I'm, and like you said, the irony um, and the honesty. I mean, you know, we, we, we can look at um, the cartoons and it's like, wow, that happened to me, <laughs> you know, and, and, and we get it. And, uh, Hopefully other people get it. Um, I always say, you know, the prevention of getting Lyme disease is number one. And if that means getting it from seeing a cartoon, uh, from reading a book, from watching one of these videos, however it is, it doesn't matter. We just, we don't want anyone else to go through what we have gone through. And that's the whole point. But all of us with Lyme disease and going through this definitely appreciate you and your talent and what wow. you do. And the uh, effort, it takes a lot of effort when you're not feeling well. I know that too, so. Well, the same, same with you, Marianne, as I say it. it um, this stuff does not, as I, as I said the other day in a, in a poster, you, you don't, you, obviously being Lyme awareness, I, I said something to the effect of you don't want any of this. And, uh, you know, um, People, people, by and large, because of lack of education, uh, uh, just don't know and or understand what this stuff, you know, can do to you. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, it can be, it can be paralyzing as, as we yeah. know. Yeah. So I, I, again, I try to, I just try to, uh, I'm not always laughing, believe me. But I, I try to keep a sense of humor and, of course, hope. And, you know, we can't have that every day. But um, it's been great, as I say, hearing so many people that, that in fact, appreciate and like the humor. Um, I'm going to ask you a third question. Um, and since you mentioned Sarah, uh, one of the, my last question actually is pertaining to, you, you're familiar with a lot of the Lyme organizations. Um, maybe if you want to mention hers uh, quickly and explain what they do, um, or, um, and also, so I know there's maybe two, three that maybe you'd like to mention and um, that you're familiar with and, and uh, like what they do. <laughs> I will. Um so I would, uh, I would suppose the first, first place I would point uh, somebody to would be ILADS. Um, and I won't get into all the politics. Um, unfortunately, people that will fall ill to this will find out quick enough. But 
Um, you have a set of doctors over here and agencies that don't believe in chronic Lyme and you have ILADs uh, who do and they treat us and they treat us with long-term antibiotics. Uh, but there's much more information on their uh, website, ILADS.com. Uh, so I would probably point them first to that. And uh, I would also point uh, to LymeDisease.org. Um, I think they're a great group of people. I know they've been doing this a long, long time. And their website is great. They've, they've got a, a lot of information. Uh, so if one is, is new to this, as I say, uh, that's a good place to go. And, and I, would, I would also mention uh, Sarah Donnelly, uh, the woman who helped me or has been helping me on the book, uh, works with uh, and for Inanna House, um, or Inanna House. She's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> But they, too, take care of, um, of those, you know, with Lyme disease. Um, and and I, will, I will very quickly mention, because honestly, I, I don't know enough about them, but um, uh, Lyme Light, I think it's called. Uh, yeah. Which is an organization which uh, takes care of children with Lyme disease. And I think if I'm not mistaken, they raise money or funds so that uh, parents don't have to spend or spend perhaps not as much. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. again, I, I think, uh, because I've always said any parent, I mean, it's bad enough that we have to deal with this and go through and, and trying to find doctors and, and spending, you know, out of pocket and so forth. But the kids just, it just kills me. So uh, I throw that last one in there. And as I say, I wish I knew more. But um, those would be the, those would be the, the organizations I would point people to um, right off the bat. Okay. And I agree, and I'm familiar with all of those, and we will post links for those um, websites um, for people to contact, or they can, people can refer to those websites for information. Good. Um, all great groups. I, I agree with that. Um, and thank you. Thank you for talking about them and, and letting people know that. Um, okay, well, that's the end of our three questions, which is a little bit more than three, but that's okay. I'm just happy to see you and talk to you. Um, well, I was going to say, it was, I mean, we've known each other a pretty long time. And yeah. It was so nice to meet you uh, in an internet kind of way. And uh, it really has been a pleasure. And I, and I thank you guys, both you and Holly, for, for doing the work you do. Oh, thank you. All right, David. So um, just so everyone knows that this interview and all the information, the links for your Amazon book um, and uh, your website, um, and for those organizations will be posted afterwards and all of this will be posted on all our social media. Good. Uh, and I'm going to sign off now and say goodbye to everyone and you and I could chat for another minute. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Dave. Bye-bye.